Australia has announced that more U.S. troops will rotate through the island nation and that the Allies will cooperate on missile development, the latest joint steps, amid shared concerns about China's increasing assertiveness in the region. Australia earlier announced a three-way alliance with the United States and Britain, in which Canberra will acquire nuclear-powered submarines, enraging France whose own key contract for conventional submarines was scrapped. France is upset because it has lost a mega-submarine deal to the U.S., and because it feels humiliated at being kept in the dark, about what the other three democracies were planning. Outlining further measures on a visit to Washington, Defense Minister Peter Dutton said on Thursday, that Australia will be significantly enhancing cooperation including working together on the development of missiles, and explosive ordnance. It was a stab in the back. We built a relationship of trust with Australia, and this trust was betrayed, and I'm angry today, with a lot of bitterness, about this breach," Jean-Yves Le Drian, France's Minister of Foreign Affairs, said in a recent radio interview. Outlining further measures on a visit to Washington, Defense Minister Peter Dutton said on Thursday, that Australia will be significantly enhancing cooperation including working together on the development of missiles and explosive ordnance. He said Australia was willing to see more U.S. Marines in a 10-year rotation through the northern city of Darwin. I do have an aspiration to make sure that we can increase the numbers of troops through the rotations, Dutton said. The air capability will be enhanced, our maritime capability enhanced, and certainly the force posture enhanced. Prime Minister Scott Morrison earlier had said that Australia would acquire long-range Tomahawk cruise missiles. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, also without giving numbers, confirmed that the United States will expand our access and presence in Australia, Austin said the two allies discussed concerns about China in the four-way meeting involving Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Foreign Minister Maurice Payne. Stay tuned for the latest news.